Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play La Mulana. So, we're coming up very quickly on the end of this series. There's really only a few things left to do. Of which none are actually in the Chamber of Birth. Tower of... Oh, okay. Tower of Ruin. There we go. Third time is the charm. So, there's a puzzle in here that I managed to completely and utterly ignore, skip, whatever. In here. All that cat thing. We freeze time. There's these little wispy... Floating electric snake things, whatever you want to call them. If you kill, I believe, at least two of them, you'll solve the puzzle. This wall will move out of the way, this pedestal will become available, and you gotta be quick and get out of there before you get crushed. Okay, so, with that done, if we head to the Tower of the Goddess and jump all the way down here. I should probably say now as well, this might in fact be the finale of the main game. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to bother again with the Gate of Time. I don't think there's anything in there that's really different at all from... Okay, well, I missed the fairy and we're falling all the way down. There's the door we needed. I don't think there's anything different in the Gate of Time compared to a normal difficulty playthrough. So, yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. The Hill Temple... I just really don't want to. Uh, yeah, I just don't want to. That's what it comes down to. And since we solved that puzzle, the Medicine Lady Woman statue is open. So now we have to deal with some spirits. I believe it's Phobos who told us what to do. But we need to use the death mantra in here. Let's see, the uh, little, uh, one of them does that. The seductive spirit does that. And then for these little lovely ladies here, we need to switch to the birth mantra. And with that, if we head on back a couple of rooms, And still going back through rooms. There is now uh, yellow liquid drop dripping down from that pot. Pot. All right, with the vessel, we now obtain the medicine of the mind. This is very important. It is necessary to pass the first stage of the final fight in the game. Um. Yeah, there is something I need to do. Okay, I got it. I remembered. I'm gonna go back to the Tower of the Goddess, because this is the closest Lamp of Time recharge spot I am aware of. So we're gonna go ahead and refill that for a particular reason. And if this would hurry up. There we go. Alright, so we're pretty much done at this point. It's basically... Well, I'm gonna try to cheat. I don't think this will work. Come see me again when the time comes. Yeah, that won't work. I'm trying to cheat. I'm trying to save a trip back here. Apparently not gonna work. Anyway, it's time to go to the true shrine of the mother. The, uh, after you defeat the final guardian, the Shrine of the Mother changes. There are tendrils now all over the place, as we'll see shortly. And if you miss the Sacred Orb or the Bounce.exe software, I think it's Bounce.exe, you will not... That's not the fairy I want. I want a region fairy here. You'll not be able to get them once you've beaten the last guardian, so if you want either of those, you need to get them ahead of time. So in my case, when I defeated Tiamat, I lost access to the Shrine of the Mother's Sacred Orb, and I like to bounce.exe, I think. It's some piece of software in there. Don't know which. It's not really important, so. And this is why I wanted the regen fairy, so I can just kind of walk through everything, make use of invulnerability frames, ignore these big grinding wheels of doom. And... 
Come to think of it, I in fact did not need to recharge the Lamp of Time in the Graveyard of the Giants. Apparently, my shield was not very effective against the Llama Poo. Fucking muck spreading. Hey, I could have refilled the Lamp of Time in here. And now I really could have refilled the Lamp of Time in here. Alright, Regen Fairy is about to run out. And there she goes. Anyway, welcome to the true Shrine of the Mother, even though it is not called as such. Note the giant pulsating tendril. Not really pulsating, but uh, moving tendril. It's kind of a confusing area, too. It's like, okay, there's some tendrils, and here we can go in front of it, but here we can stand on the top of it. And it's a little confusing in a couple spots if you don't know where to go. And then we got these little moving bits all over the place that are just plain annoying. Anyway, this weight that we were not able to get to previously is now uh, accessible. That, I believe, makes a ladder appear in a certain area. And this is the room where the sacred orb is. You can see the, uh, the seal slots here. There's one to, uh, over here as well. There's two more below this, like, where I'm standing, there's another one hidden behind it, as well as on the left-hand side of the room. The Ankh, or not the Ankh, the Sacred Orb would be in that little gap in the bottom portion of the room. That's not a door to go through. There is a ladder here. Much like the Tower of the Goddess, the ladders are kind of disguised and hidden. Those stupid girders in the Tower of the Goddess tricked me the first time. Possibly the second time as well. Just a little more embarrassing. Alright. Anyway, yay, invulnerability frames. Look at it, now we don't need Super Zelpud to get us that chest. We just go get it ourselves, like that. But no, that's the ladder. I believe that, uh, that... What do you call it? Ah, a strange tablet with a fairy on it. Whatever could we have to do to get rid of that? Pedestal, that weight. Damn it, I didn't want to fill my health up. Oh well. It's both good and bad. There's a very, very small chance I can make it through here without getting hit. And here we have Beelzebub. We can kind of cheat here. Lamp of Time. And... Look at that! We're out of there! Yeah, that's why I wanted the Lamp of Time nice and filled up. Okay, if we get the hand scanner. Behold, the Shrine of the Mother. This is where the Mother sleeps. For completion's sake, I don't... I don't know if you actually need to beat him. Oh, screw it. We're gonna skip it. He, he's actually not that difficult to beat. He, he sweeps from side to side. You've come back to see me alive! I shall remove the wall that hinders you. That is my mission. I will entrust the mother's soul to you. Let us meet in front of the wall that blocks the path to the mother. Alright. As to Beelzebub. Beelzebub, rather. Not Beelzebub. Beelzebub would be a lot easier to say, I think. And that's why I can't find it. And you know what? We're gonna save the game. Keen observers might uh, realize that there was already a game saved beyond that, because I had some rec audio recording issues. Yay! It all recorded fine, there was just like static and crackling. Noises. And there's one other thing I want to do here. This game is saved, let's go ahead and continue. And there's a fairy summon spot down there now. So, I'm curious if I can make it through here without taking any damage whatsoever. The answer to that would be no. No, I can't. Could probably be done, probably be done, but who am I kidding? I'm not gonna manage to do it. Yeah, Beelzebub, he kind of swoops from the top left of the room down to the, or to the top right of the room, and he just repeats that. He shoots bats while he's hovering on either side. You can jump up and hit him with the axe, no problem. You can hit him while he swoops down in the center of the room. So, 
that's not particularly difficult to do. And he then turns into a fly, and he's a little bit more annoying in that particular phase, but again, not really difficult to beat. Damn it, stop. Ah yes, let's also do this. Let's get our software combinations activated. For improved weapon damage and all that fun stuff. Now, we're in an interesting spot. I very much doubt that I'm gonna beat the game in the next 20 minutes. So that's kind of the length I would go up to. This is the, it's like a secret tendril door thing. I don't really know how you're supposed to know about that. Yay, fairies, and the regen fairy has two, because I have the regen fairy. And with that, we can finally access the mother. Alright. Last thing, and the seal is broken. The final Ankh is also broken. Here we go, the final boss fight. The individual, the single phase of any boss in the game has, uh, uh, health-wise, there's, it's 400 and something health, and she died. Of course, that would be a little more exciting had I not said the first phase, but yeah, it's not over by any stretch of the imagination. Here we go, the real boss fight. Again, not terribly difficult. There's a couple of easy ways to do this. Oh god, giant beam of land, it's gone. For this boss, there are going to be a couple little bonus episodes, and I missed. This is my actual fourth or... no. I'm going to go with fifth attempt. It's like fourth or fifth attempt. The first one, I like died here. And I miss again. This is just not working out in my favor. This is what's supposed to happen. You hug the very, very side of the wall, you really don't take damage. It's a little slow, a little boring, but it works. And that's kind of what's important. Doesn't take too many. I think it's five chakram hits. Just, again, you know, not exciting or fun to watch. But it gets the job done. And occasionally that happens, you can't really do much about it. It's not 100% safe, but... There we go, phase one completed. And now it's a skeleton with a pissed off baby. Yes, the skeleton baby is pissed off. That will be demonstrated ever so shortly, unfortunately. It's a pretty simple, straightforward uh, fight. Wait for the fire tears to fall. Avoid those laser beams of doom. And just when she's kind of lower, you hit her and baby laser of death. And I managed to dodge it. It's actually kind of difficult to dodge. I don't know if there's a particular trick to it or if it's just a matter of timing it correctly, but I generally don't end up doing it, and you don't want to get hit by the giant laser beam arrows of doom. And I got greedy, tried to get extra hits in, and did not get any. And I actually did not know you could block those with your shield. There we go, phase complete. Now we have a little tentacle eye monster. Bombs are supposed to work fairly well for this. You can destroy the tendrils, or tentacles, or I guess they'd be tentacles in this case. Ah, I missed. I'm out of bombs. Chakrams, go! Okay, we're not gonna do chakrams because the chakrams will not come back. 
Earth Spears. And I'm taking way too much damage here, unfortunately. I believe three shots from the pistol will work for that. And just kind of kill it instantly. Now the real fun begins. This is... This phase is quite a doozy. I don't want to hit it. Here we go. Now the fun begins. Let's get the shield, re shield ready. Amphisbana. Fire Breath. It's, I don't know if that's not behind. Uh, Saki. And... Um... I have no idea. Elmac. Going for broke. There's our little, uh... Health refill thing. The trick for this is pretty much to try and get behind it. Most of them will not fire behind her. Uh, I don't. Baphomet. And we. No, 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 no one yet. Vi, this is gonna be the fun one. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the giant Vi laser. Crap, what's his name? Planke. Oh, God, no. Oh, that's a Baphomet move, or Baphomet move. I'm, like, really <laughs> cutting it close with that one. And Tiamat. God, oh, okay. Oh, boy. She's got to be getting weak. The lasers are moving around now. But that basically means if I'm in a bad spot, I'm going to be dead. No. <laughs> oh, that sucked. God damn it, Tiamat. God damn it. That went a lot better than I expected, given how much health I had for that final phase. Alright, we're going at this again. I'll meet you back at that last phase. You know, we're actually going to cut back in here real quick. There's two things I'm going to be doing. First of which, we're gonna make one final trip over to the hot spring. Because, you know, who doesn't love the hot spring? It's a nice, relaxing place. Get the hot water, steam coming off a little pool. You know, fun, and, you know, it's fun for the whole family, you know. Minus these giant poisonous snakes that you need whips and stuff to deal with. But there's actually a real reason. The... One little thing you can kind of do is, if you keep your experience bar full, you can do, uh, you can just kill something right near the end and just fill your whole health bar up. But if you come here first for the fairy statue and get it removed, the regen fairy will last about three quarters of the way through phase one, which will basically allow you to, you know, if you accidentally get hit by one of the energy balls, you can just heal that damage right back up. Anyway, be back at that final phase. Alright, here we go. Hopefully the last time our health is up in the green. Alright, Amphispana's Fire Breath. Let's do this. Where are you gonna go? And I, of course, walk into her. Because, you know, that's how... That's like the pro way to do this. It's super secret hidden strategies, yeah. 
Alright, that almost worked. Really don't like that Elmac attack. The Baphomet one is fine, it's just a little annoying because you can't really hit her during it. Next if I had more flares, I could do that, do that. So sort of like so. Why not damage is damage? Eh, screw it. Gonna use what we got access to. And hopefully stop jumping into her. Not enough time. Elmax. Or not. I did end up picking up another box of bullets just to make uh, phase two, uh, three easier. It seems to have done the trick. I managed to finish it with a little less health just using the pistol. Flares? We are out of flares. Ow. Got a little distracted by the Vi laser. Screw it, I got bullets. I'm not gonna be able to use them from here. Swear my life. I think. Let's get to a spot I can hit you, that's all I need. I'm gonna shoot you in the face, that's it. Oh, hello. Uh, we're almost there. We got the little fetus baby child thing in the background. There we go. Okay, I can't move. I I'm not sure if there was like a fuck you kind of thing. I can't move at all. I have no control over anything, so... With that, the mother is finally put to rest. And now the Eye of Sauron is pissed off at us as we catch the secret treasure of life. But wait, the adventure continues. Oh, what would a game be without an escape sequence? This is a Metroidvania after all. Wish I had a map for here. I do have a map for here. I need to remember, at four minutes, 59 seconds. I believe I need to go down. I hope I don't end up dying here. Yeah, I kind of cheated a little bit with the gun, maybe, but eh, they really aren't that expensive at this point. You go to the Temple of, the Moon, uh, Temple of Moonlight and get three boxes for the amount I paid for one, so whatever. Oh crap, this isn't the way. Can't teleport. This is potentially quite bad. I've now wasted a lot of time. Okay, seriously, where the hell am I supposed to be going? I very likely have screwed myself here. Feels above is up, I'm done. That's it. I'm dead. Game over. There's no way I can beat this guy in four, four minutes and also make it out. So I screwed myself up royally by going the wrong way. Let's screw this. I'm going to... I, I don't even have the stuff to kill him. Normally I just lamp of time and freeze him. This is going to be cutting it close. I end up killing Beals above, any Beals above anyway.
And this is what I get for skipping this boss earlier. Oh well. One or two more hits. And I, I don't think I'm actually going to survive killing him. Alright, so... I don't believe this came up as an issue. All right, I'll meet you back at the beginning of the escape sequence. Whew, that was close yet again. Unfortunately, I had to resort to the pistol. But it is what it is. All right. Let's try this again, this time without having to run through Beelzebub. If I do in fact need to beat him to get out of here, I am going to be pretty much really screwed. Because he is just an annoying bastard to fight and kill. With that, let's just try to avoid that route altogether. So let's just switch to the shield. A lot of these guys have projectiles. Some of them just have homing lightning bolts that are annoying as hell to deal with. This is not the flail whip. I think as I, I might have discussed that in, in ep one of the episodes that's not going to be seen because of audio issues. About how the flail whip is much more preferable, or is much preferred to uh, the axe for most of the stuff. So, okay, so far so good. Wait for him to stop breathing fire everywhere. Alright, gonna wait for him to stop breathing fire again. Wait for him to turn around. Wait for him to turn around again. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, really? Finish breathing fire. There we go. Took way longer than it should have. That is a rope. How did that get there? It's an odd way to climb a rope, also. All right, but we've escaped the endless corridor. Gotta get out of here. It's like I'm trying to dodge bats still. I don't need to. It's glorious, except for the fact that I never remember. Well, that's different. Hey, look at that shortcut. Cool. And I believe this is the entrance to the tower of, or temple. No, this is the Muslim of the Giants. There are giants falling everywhere. It's like I'm kind of scared to walk past these guys. It's like, I don't want you to fall on me. Don't you dare. Hey, the elevator still works at least. That's good. So up we go. I'm curious if I could actually have run back through through the... Oh, the shop is closed. If I could have run all the way through the Endless Corridor. Who knows? Because I, know, I don't plan on going back to check. Ah, the fateful room that put us into hard mode for the duration of the series. And that door is closed also. Everything's all closed and sealed up. And good thing I didn't go that way. That would have sucked. As those spikes sucked as well. Mini Anubis. I don't even have a powerful Anubis laser. Gate of Gardens. I am not going to bother going towards the entrance here because I know for a fact already that it will be blocked off. I believe there's a cave in and the entrance is closed. Now we just need to get to the. Oh, oh hello. At least I didn't get under that before it fell. That would really suck. I don't know if any of these little collapsing portions can kill you if you get under them. I mean, it would seem like it could, but who knows. The elevator here appears to not be working. Oh, there it is. Oh, the elevator's not working, guys, and then there it is. Although, evidently, uh... 
This is the right way. Yes, okay. Almost out of here. Gonna make it. Ah, there was the entrance to the Hell Temple in the top part of that room. Good thing we're not going there. That place sucks. Wait a second. This is the path to the spring in the sky. This is now bad. Oh boy. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Minute 34 seconds left. This is really starting to shake now. Oh, great, this trap. There's the trapdoor. There's the entrance to the Temple of the Sun. Oh man, this place is really starting to fall apart. Starting to screen this, the screen's starting to shake more and more rapidly. And... A minute to spare. We made it! Mulbrak, save us! Let's get this way, hurry! And with that, we have escaped Lamulana. Successfully and alive. Because we have those skeletons walking all over the place. Congratulations! And that wraps up Let's Play La Mulana Hard Mode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. It was, I mean, I, I'm not going to do the full whole game. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be talking through the credit roll the whole time and going over it anyway. But, uh, yeah, so great game. Definitely worth playing. I recommend it. Definitely, for the love of God, play it with a notebook because there, if you don't want to be looking stuff up every two minutes, you're going to want to write down a lot of the clues. But yeah, I mean, it's just a great throwback as everyone jumps for joy. I had talked a couple times about playing the classic La Mulana, the old version of it. I still have that planned. It's not going to be immediate. I have learned my lesson with doing too many Let's Plays at once if it's not a little quick side thing. Like a couple times I've gone back to Dungeons of Dreadmore and a couple faster than light episodes. Um, a couple little things like that where I just throw an ep a couple episodes in. Uh, the Tiny and Big Grand Grandpa's Underwear, I think it was. That was like five episodes for the whole game. Little stuff like that maybe I'll do in, but three games at once. Everything just gets too spread out. My schedule just doesn't really work for it and allow for it. So I'm going to be finishing up on Epic, get back to doing some Path of Exile stuff, which I took kind of an official hiatus from. Oh, look at the mother floating up there in the sky. I actually didn't realize that. Or well, maybe I did in the previous in the normal mode Let's Play. Anyway. Yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this. It's, uh... I'm going to repeat myself, probably. I... Hell Temple, I... Uh, it, in all honesty, it's probably not going to happen. I'm not probably not going to do it again. I suffered through that on normal mode, never mind hard mode. Although, realistically, it, or realistically, I am immune to bats now, so it would actually be easier. Because those bats, those goddamn bats, just everywhere in there. Uh. So yeah, just kind of waiting out the credit roll. Never did get that last piece of software either. Oh well. It's there, check out the Game of Time video for, on my YouTube channel if you want to see that. It's up there. So we all stop to stare off as the sun sets into the or down below the horizon.
And we're running again. Okay. Where's the sun rising? I think is it. It might not even be changing. I stopped looking at the screen for a second. I don't think the mouse is actually recording. Oh, well, I don't know. The sun may or may not be rising or setting. And oh my god, that asshole father. I swear to god. I do all that work. I get the secret treasure of life. And that son of a bitch just runs along, knocks me down, and steals it and runs off into the distance. Freaking Super Zelpa didn't even go to stop him. What the hell of freaking good is, it, is he? He fell. Bye, Zelpud. Hi, Zelpud. Bye. Uh, I just. I don't know. Playtime: nine hours, forty-six minutes, fifty-eight seconds. I believe that's quite a decrease from the normal mode. I'm just kind of quickly in the background trying to find it to see how long it actually was. So please excuse any me talking and that makes no sense whatsoever because it's from a random video. As I am no longer paying attention to the game, so I don't know what's happening. I think it just sits here, so hopefully I'll have this looked up in a couple seconds. The music, I believe, will just loop. That is episode 6 of hard mode. Uh, had a lot of Path of Exile episodes back in March. Oh god, that's Hell Temple videos. Okay, looking for the actual finale. Hell Temple Part 2. Hell Temple, Hell... There's apparently two episodes titled Hell Temple, both number 69. Whatever, we're ignoring that. Episode 67. Here we go, let's skip to the end. Alright. Playtime, 14 hours, 38 minutes, and 15 seconds. So I cut the time down by a pretty decent amount. Anyway, so there we go. Hard mode of La Mulana completed. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and or subscribe. Have a great day.